of that, you're distancing yourself from what just happened. The reason I want you to take a picture is your coach is going to need it because they need information of who you really are, not who you think you are. It's a real problem for coaches. You think you're somebody else, but you're not. And we need to look at this information and know. We need a scoring methodology for it, and we need a picture of it so we can see patterns that happen. Now, how many of you enjoyed this drill? <laughs> see? Yeah. All right. Those of you that enjoyed it shot above 260 and above, right? All right. See the difference? Enjoyment comes from purpose. Purpose comes from accomplishment in this. The way to accomplish it is to be present and to stay in, 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 in it with it. The only person who really got a big excuse is Harriet. She did it one-handed. Now, what did you score one-handed? I can't even do it. Can't even do it, right? It's really hard, right? <laughs> so not only did she handicap so her that nice. way, she went from iron she went from a red dot to iron sights, which made it even harder for her. All right. And I watched her trying to control it, it was very difficult. I this is your hard. first test. Good news is if you didn't score particularly well, you're gonna make it easy on your coach to make you better. Right. That's what we want. We want to find out where you're at. It's not to chastise you or to embarrass you in front of everybody else. We need to find out what's going on in your shooting because there's no way we can make a correction. But you shy away from being exposed during class because nobody wants to be the person that's worst. The one thing we hear in competition all the time is don't let me be last. But somebody is last always. And at least they were there and the other person didn't show up. So you showed up. You're doing the work. Let's look at this. Let's get the information out of it. It is a hard drill, but it's a worthwhile drill. The good news is this can be practiced on any indoor range in America. That's why I did it this way. No draw, just from that position, and you can practice it. These targets are readily available. If you buy 100 of them from Action Target, they're 18 cents. Just the little squares, and you can put them up anywhere and practice it. It's a great way to measure accuracy and precision. Now, if you look at the targets, some of you are really accurate, but not precise. Some of you are really precise. But we also can see when your brain yelled out what? Whoa. Far! <laughs> I'm too far away. You know, there was a very big difference at 15, the way that you approached the targets, than there was at 5. And it really shouldn't change that much except for what? clarifying what you need to do. We're in that decisional process of clarification right now. I need to see a bit more and I need to finesse the trigger just a bit more. Caress it. I love the word finesse and caress because they mean something different. <coughs> accuracy and precision comes from that word instead of just pressing the trigger to the rear. I want you to finesse it. I want you to caress it. And then watch the dot and it'll give you all the information you need. At no point did I say there was any time limit, but all of you were done within what? <coughs> 10 seconds. You know? Anchoring point was the fastest shooter in the class, which was him. And the other anchoring point was the slowest shooter, which was either you or you. All right, that became the anchoring point for classes. So you, as coaches, you have to be very careful about your anchoring points. All right, because if I say, hey, uh, what's a really fast draw? One second or three seconds? See, I've anchored it somewhere in between and I'm making them feed me the information. So the anchoring point was his fastest shot and their slowest shot. And as long as you stayed inside that, you're okay. But the other side of this is <coughs> Did you do what you accomplished? There was no time limit. And if there was no time limit, there's no sense of pressure. But the group molded you to follow suit because that's how human beings work. We are pack animals at heart. And you will follow in with the group. Even if you don't see it, you feel like you got to shoot. So then it becomes a timer problem for you instead of an information problem. And if you got both running at the same time, then it really makes it hard to shoot well. Now, she had an interesting one because brass kept hitting her. So it really disturbed her concentration. And instead of moving her and protecting her from that, what I said is we have to learn how to deal with it. You know, she likes to be very centered and structured and nothing to distract her, but that's not how fights are. So I want her to get used to that. I don't want her to be showered the whole time in brass, but I want her to get used to that and know that she can shake it off and get back to the process. If it's annoying her, then she can wait for him to finish and then she can shoot. There are options always, there are solutions. So look for solutions, get better at it, and off you go. This is one of four tests that we're going to shoot today, okay? And we're going to try to improve it, and then we're going to shoot it again Sunday. So we see if the improvement. When you start looking for protective, uh, uh, your, your clients, your future clients right now, all right, in this group, because you <coughs> have to help them. If I was a coach right now, which I am, okay, I would walk the line and look at these targets and see who did what, and then make sure they've taken a picture of everything and make sure it's scored well because there's a whole bunch of information sitting in front of you, but right now you're only concerned with your only thing that you want to worry about is how well you shot. Well, we got to find somebody we can help. So go look at the targets and see if you recognize something up there that would make it predictive for you to help them in the future. All right, off you go. Can we have people put their names on? Yep. Oh,
If you can't see really well, Stacia, bring your shoes over and light it up. <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts on like the mirrors? I love it. You do? Yeah, I do mana strike on Monday. Oh, I think it's really good. Um, yeah, you got two different things going on.